Well, health experts are saying there is a low risk of transmitting or contracting COVID-19 through the mail. Despite the risk, we've seen a number of customers pouring into shipping centers to do business. These are serious matters and uh, it's not to be taken lightly. Tim Masters checks his mailbox just about every day. He depends on essential deliveries to keep his business afloat. These are unprecedented times and we're just having to abide by all the regulations that keep you know, the, uh, the virus at a minimum and do what we can to survive. The packages are still stacking up at the upsstore.com. Tony Abdu owns this UPS store. He says he's seen double the package load for this time of year. This is our job. This is what we do. This is how we help people in, in this time. And we're going to continue to help people whether, you know, what comes and, and what may. We're not planning on shutting down or slowing our hours. Or The CDC has said there is a low risk of transmitting coronavirus through the mail. Still, Abdu takes precautions, requiring employees to clean and sanitize. Blue tape set six feet apart promotes social distancing and only employees are allowed to handle machinery in store. It's, it's one thing to stay safe, stay cautious about what you're doing. Uh, it's another thing to panic and we just don't want to fall into that mindset. We're not going to panic over anything. Keeping this service running is the only store left standing in this strip mall. This is one of the essential things, for, at least for our business. Everything isn't can't be done by email. You know, you still have to ship things. You still have to, to get hard mail in the mail so I don't think you can you can put a value on that. Both UPS and FedEx a number of delivery services are making signing for packages and deliveries optional a reminder tonight that health officials recommend you wash your hands after handling any mail or packages. We're live in Greenville County Joe Ripley WYFF News 4.